What's going on guys? So if you subscribe to some of the RV publications, you've probably seen this product before. This is the Evoque made by a company called Travel Light RV. This is a really beautiful style of travel trailer and I've been wanting to get out to their booth for a while so I could see what they're all about. So we're gonna spend some time out here. We're gonna take a look at a few of their models to see specifically what makes them special and unique. So hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I am here with Don K or Donnie K. How do you pronounce your last name so I don't destroy it? Krasnowski. Krasnowski. Yeah, to call me K-12 in the Marine Corps. You can call me anything. Well, I appreciate your service, I by the way. I appreciate you. Thank you. So first of all, we are in front of these beautiful, beautiful RVs that you guys have. This is Travel Light RV, and they make all sorts of different models from the F-Lite over here to the Evoque right here, as well as some really cool-looking truck campers way over there. We're going to spend some time looking at this Evoke first, this Model C, to see what their brand is all about. So, right. if you could, Don, could you take a moment, walk us through the brand and the mentality behind the brand. Well, what we're looking for is, you know, the Model C, this is a rear bath, huge rear bath, king bed up front, large slide. But some things that make it special, we are a hung wall construction. We use the upgraded fiberglass. If you come around here, we use over 50 inches of diamond plate. We have 30 uh, you know, pound tanks. DOT LED certified lights. Besides being cool looking, they really glow uh, you know, at night. If you walk around the corner, large awnings. If you look, the awning spans over both doors. That is a smart awning. It's got the uh, wind sensor. It's got controls outside. One thing you're gonna really notice that's really cool with our units, these glass tempered doors. They have a slingshot screen. They have a uh, drop down shade for the window. Um, just a very cool looking, you know, uh, you know, kind of door. Every unit that we have has an outside kitchen, upgraded kicker speakers, but something that's really important, you know, to us is our premium tires. We either use Michelin or Goodyear's. They come with a lifetime warranty. They're on 102 wide axles. You get a wider stance. You get 10 inches of rubber on the ground. Safety is very important to us. Premium tires equal, you're going to be able to get home safe. You don't have blowouts. They're just a great addition to this unit. If you walk around here, saw the steps, walk around the back, we have a pretty clean rear end with a fin that helps cut through the air. We do a bike rack for you already standard, and also standard is our four point jacks. If you want to, we can walk inside. Absolutely, let's Come do it. In. The first thing you're probably gonna notice as you walk in is this aircraft design. We have these rounded cabinets, if you look at the floor, this is a weaving vinyl PVC floor. The only other product you'll see in the industry uh, really with this, this is in some of the Airstream products, or you're going to see this in a boating uh, market. Very durable, very easy to clean. As you see, new sconce lights, regular household curtains. If you come back here, if you walk in here, look how much space I have. Look how big this 48 inch shower is. Look at the counter space for mama. And if you look, every one of my drawers are slow clothes. Just things that really grab the lady's attention. This is a beautiful bathroom, by the way. It honestly shocked me because I had a chance to kind of walk through this before you came up to me. And when I saw how large this is for a travel trailer, that's the thing. This is a fifth wheel size. This is a luxury fifth wheel size bathroom Correct. that you're getting in a travel trailer. And that is really something special. Tons of room. What I always like to point out in my videos is how much leg space you have in front of the toilet. Right. And on this, you got roughly three feet of space in front of the toilet. Yes. Look at all the countertop space. Solid surface countertops. And you might think that there's something on here, but that's actually a graphic design, I guess, built yep. into this one piece. Yep. Well, these are one piece fiberglass uh, countertops. So there's no seams. If you look in the kitchen, it's wrapped around one piece. You spill something, it's not going to get down in the back of your walls. That's kind of what we're going for. But this is a great empty nester. You know, if it's mom and pops, they retire, the kids and grandkids are gone. This is a great unit. If you look, all the upgraded, you know, uh, uh, Furion products, a 12-volt electric fridge, full backsplashes all the way around, and like I said, seamless uh, fiberglass countertops, farm sinks with residential faucets. You know, one thing I also like about this unit is the placement of the sofa. So many RVs get this wrong. They'll put the TV on the wall over here right. and you can't see it. Who wants to turn the neck? I mean, exactly. We've got a 40-inch flat screen right in front of you. We have a fireplace over, you know, 6,000 BTU of heat. 
just a very comfortable area. Absolutely. Even this whole dinette area, everything has a very modern, like like you said, aircraft interior kind of private jet feel to it. You guys have done a really good job, especially with the subtle lighting. Some brands are making it a little bit too obnoxious with the amount of lights that they put inside because they're kind of in your face. Yes, sir. But in this, everything is a soft glow. Yep. And if you walk into the bedroom, you know, this is one of our biggest highlights is we have a 76 by 80 king bed with large nightstands, 110 outlets, USB ports. Now you can go to Bed Bath Beyond or anywhere else or even bring from your home. You can bring sheets that actually fit and it's a very comfortable pillow top mattress. And behind me, check this out, guys. The master sink. bedroom has its own sink yep. and vanity. This is really cool because people don't generally think about this, especially when it comes to travel trailers. You generally think you have the bathroom back there, you have to wait to brush your teeth until somebody's done taking a shower or doing their business. Back here, you have another sink you can get set up. It looks like it has a, another outlet here, so if you need to blow dry your hair, if you need to be doing something over here, you can do that while somebody else is using the restroom over well, we'll there. I'll give you ample storage, but if this is something that you don't need, I can do uh, cabinets all the way across, but you know, most of the ladies have told us they love to have this sink because of what you just explained. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense, and looks like you guys have really taken a thoughtful approach to building a travel trailer, but more so, you've taken a very modern approach to it. It's not you know, competing directly against anybody else. And I've really had to think to myself, who are you trying to appeal to with this type of travel trailer? But when you think about it at the end of the day, all of these features that you've incorporated in are just smart features. Right. You know, you've done a really good job. Or even like behind you, if you look, I mean, you know, natural light is key. You have a skylight. And if you look, we don't put small cabinets over here that you can't fit anything anyway. So we do the larger windows. Wind every window in here opens so they can get, you know, some nice breeze through. You know, it just, you know, keeps the uh, ladies smiling, and that's, you know, that, that's who really, uh, you know, we, we appeal to. Hey, mama's happy, right? Mama happy, you know, daddy's happy, yep. Yep, yep. So let's take a look at some of the other units you have out there. Awesome, let's do it. All right, guys, so now we're going to transition over to something completely different. We're going to go to, I guess, what started the entire Travel Light RV company, right? Yes, truck sir. campers. The ability to throw one of these in the back of your truck, whether you have a half-ton truck, a three-quarter-ton truck, or a one-ton, and have a really reliable, well-built truck camper. So, Don, let's walk through one of these Travel Light truck campers and see what they're all about. Absolutely. You know, if you look at, you know, like this is our 770, you know, these are, uh, you know, three-quarter-ton and above. You're talking about a thousand to thirteen hundred pounds. You know, you come with your electric, electric stabilizer jacks outside. If you walk in, you can see how roomy it is. Let's you know, follow me in here. Sure. You know, you'll have you know your uh, your twin bed up here. You got plenty of sitting area. You do have a table to be able to sit right here. You know, you have a family of really four if you need to. But a lot of people, you know, this is mom and pops. They have a, a boat. They have a you know something small. They're pulling. Mm -hmm. And this is the nice weekender. So yeah. if you look, very roomy in here. You'll have your two burner stove, you have your microwave, you have your wet bath behind you, and you have a small little fridge right here. So, you know, small stereo, but just has the upgraded feels of what we do in our, uh, our travel trailers. Absolutely, and what I like about this is you still have that open feel to it, even though you don't have a slide. Right. You know, and a slide, it was interesting. I was spending some time with, uh, with the Ram people from Ram Trucks, and they were telling me that you know, one of the guys that I'd rode with, he's big into overlanding, and he throws a truck camper into the back of his Ram, takes it out to Moab, takes it out to different areas, and he says the one advice he has for people that want to get into truck camping is don't get one with the slide right. if you plan on going off-roading at all. Right. So that's one thing that's nice about this. Is yeah, once you cut a hole in the wall and you open it up and you got a lot of moving parts, you know, these don't do as, you know, as, as much damage as a travel trailer runs down the road like a hurricane. I mean, this is in the back of a truck. So, um, but I mean, that 1,000 to 1,300 pound range is, you know, key for us. And, you know, even a slide, you get a little bit little more room, but most people, you know, they're, they're not in these that much. They're, mm -hmm. they're here to sleep take a shower, but nine times out of 10, they're outside eating or they're out having fun wherever they're at. So, you know, the slide's not a, you know, a big deal for us. Okay, from a retail perspective, what's the price range on something like this? You know, you're anywhere between, you know, for retail, you're, you know, 10, 11,000 up to about 15,000. Okay, then that's actually pretty affordable, well, especially what for what as you well get. We try to keep it affordable. We try to keep it, you know, light, you know, budget conscious, you know, especially, you know, these go into, you know, usually a very expensive truck. So we try to keep the budget, you know, you know, very conscious of, you know, where we're at with it. And that just makes people smile. Absolutely. And one thing that you guys have maintained is access to the truck window. Correct. So that's something that if you're wondering why there's a window there, that is designed if you have a pass-through window on your pickup truck so you can still hand a soft drink or two. Soft drink. You know, whatever the pets you can to. move around. You know, you'd be amazed how many folks, you know, the kids and grandkids are gone. So those pets are the kids now. So, you know, having that is very key for our folks. Absolutely.
Well, Don, again, I really appreciate it. This well, is a beautiful unit. Time. You know, this is something that's uh, very special to us. All right, so now we're in front of this Falcon F-Lite. This is the smallest one I saw, and I really like looking at what you're able to cram into these really small travel trailers. So, Don, you want to walk us through what we're looking at here? Absolutely. This is our F-Lite, you know, our Falcon series. Now, this would be my smallest guy. This is just a hair over 13 foot. The F-Lite series goes from 13 up to about 18 foot, and then you get to my Falcon series, you'll go from that 18, 19 foot range up to about 29 foot. What's special about these, obviously, is the lightweight, you're about 1,600 pounds, length, 13 foot, and we still give you everything, outside speakers. You're gonna get uh, you know the premium uh, 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 wheels on here with great tires. You're gonna have a uh, pull-down awning. Um, if you come inside, I'll follow you. You still, just like our, uh, our sliding campers, you got plenty of room to move around. You have a booth for mom and pops to sit down and eat, drops down and makes a bed. You have a nice little kitchen, and behind you, you have your wet bath to plenty of storage for 13 foot with a small fridge down here. And the box itself appears to only be about 10 feet, right? 13 foot is from the coupler to oh the bumper. God. Correct. So the actual box that sits on this frame is only about 10 feet long. This thing and is you're super talking about compact. 1,600 pounds. So you're, you're talking about lightweight vehicles and being safe. You know what the gross vehicle weight rating on this is? Or uh, you're probably right uh, here under 3,000 pounds. Okay, so this is going to be towable by a lot of vehicles that may not come with the tow package. So let me give you kind of an idea for my viewers. If you're looking at like a Canyon, a Colorado, or a Ranger, or some of these vehicles that come in two flavors, one with a tow package that can generally tow up to about six or 7,000 pounds, and one without a tow package that can only tow around three or 4,000 pounds, this might be okay for the ones without a tow package, or even though, of course, if you have the tow package, it's even better. Right. But that's the nice thing about some of these really compact units. They still allow you to get out there. They have plenty of storage. You have your full wet bath. You have a kitchenette. You have your refrigerator. You have your microwave, plus a nice area to sit. And you have the ability to turn this into a bed so you can sleep in it, plus an air conditioning system. Something that a lot of these smaller RVs don't really put in anymore. They'll put a vent, but they don't really put an air conditioning. So this is really nice. This is a great setup if you have a smaller vehicle, a midsize, or even more of a smaller SUV. As long as you have that magical 3,500, 4,000 pound maximum tow capacity, you should be able to tow something like this. Yeah, the smaller SUVs, and don't forget the Jeep market. The Jeep market does extremely well, plus it's flashy. This is pretty flashy. It looks kind of cool, you know, especially mm -hmm. the, you know, the aggressive, uh, you know, black outside if you know if you want that. But I mean, a lot of Jeeps are gray and black. This is great for the Jeep group. Absolutely. Anything about the outside we should take a look at? Nope. Everything. If you just come back out, it's just you know really grabs your eye. Great graphics. Um, pretty cool wheels. And like I said, you know we do the uh, the, uh, the the black exterior. Um, we do white. We do gray. Um, and we do red. So I love the fact you put an awning on this too. Yep. Yeah, yeah, but I mean it's not very big, but you know it does come out uh, almost six feet and you know plenty of area you know to be able to get you know, out of the sun. Absolutely. So, what would the uh, retail cost on something like this generally run? The retail cost, you're looking, you know, upper teens. Okay. All right. So, you know, most dealerships are willing to do a little bit of discounting, so you're probably going to be able to get this for a pretty affordable price. And he is absolutely right. From the outside, I hate to say it because I know there's a lot of people that are just purely practical and say, you know, I would take this in just white with no decals. But the fact is, when you dress them up, when you make them look nice like this, not only does it make it look nicer when you're towing it, it also looks nicer when it's sitting in front of your house. It also looks nicer when you're trying to sell it. If you decide to get something larger, if you want to move up to something huge like this Evoke right here, and you need to get out of this one, having something that is really appealing from the outside can help you get rid of this so you can get something like this. Well, and to elaborate with that, I promise you, you know, if you don't have enough friends now, when you pull in a campground with one of our units, because they do look a lot different, you can have people that are going to come, you're going to gain a lot of new friends. So it's just a fun time. Yep. You know what? If people liked ugly things, they'd probably not care what kind of vehicle they drove. But as long as people want a good looking vehicle, they're going to want a good looking RV. Great, great, great point. Yep. Anyways, Don, really appreciate your time. Well, thank you for your time. Not you a problem. Have a great day and uh, come out and see us. Absolutely, guys. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you get my updates anytime a video go goes live, and I'll talk to you again very soon.